more and more that I'm seeing a direct correlation with vision and pelvis. Where beaning, if the eyes are not, you don't have binocular vision working together, you don't have binocular hips. Now, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Some of the things to look at is to understand where the child was at birth. Was there immobilities within the facial features, intubation, cannulation, those kind of things, line IV, brain coolings, and so forth, where again, the child is not getting that visual float, right, of just, you know, even when they're just moving and cooing and going around, right, there's that visual float that comes into play. And then what you're looking at is a spinal swing coming into play and those kind of things and understanding that. So being able to really coming underneath the person, whether they're five years old, eight years old, 20, and, and feeling that that way that a, the tush can, can move, you know, that, that those techniques that you're learning. And then going into where are the hips off? So do I have a right esotropia and the left hip, you know, so now I have a cross where my counter is off, my counter is off. Do I have a same same because I have more of a left brain bleed and that's taking out my vision here and my, my paw and, and again where the pelvis could be weak and that's where the limp is going through. So there's many different ways of looking at. Not understanding vision completely. I get it that not all of you have done cognitive vision and that's fine. I want you to just see where we're just a basic visual exam. But I'm telling you, if the vision is not rectified for binocular vision, then, then again, there's just a greater chance of the hips being a problem. And it could be something as simple as astigmatism or so forth, but it also can be neurological. Remember, the eyes have environmental stresses or clutters, then there's structure within the eye, and then there's neurological. I can have environmental issues, depth perception and all that kind of thing, where, where I'm, I'm not getting my, my visual surroundings all that well. Peripheral vi visions, those kind of things would have nothing to do with the structure but just how I work my eyes and my surroundings yeah I'm gonna have neurological issues because I'm, I'm not getting the biofeedback that the neurological feedback that I need one of the courses that I'm working on is is the structure of the pelvis it's gonna take me a while this is a big course this course is going to need anatomy books and, and all of that as well as going into um, and again the structure of the eyes come into play and the neurological structure that yes I could have a, a missing corpus callosum and going to have visual issues but then again how do I work around that so to look at that but to look at if you see a child with pelvis issues start ruling out the vision if you see a child with vision issues rule out that the pelvis is okay and they have better structures and those are some things to think about with what you're going through with your videos. Thanks.